So I've been a graphics programmer for 20 years. I am the lead GPU engineer. The head of R&D. CEO and co-founder. And uh, in those early days, we had never dreamed that real-time ray tracing would ever be possible. I lost my mind because I knew that ray tracing hardware was the future. Uh, it's been used in film and television productions, the opening of Westworld. Clients like uh, Double Negative, uh, ILM, the Star Wars, Blade Runner. So when we got the RTX board, the, like the RTX 6000 that's running the demo behind me, we were able to take advantage of it in a few hours of development. This is the first car that's been ray traced in real time. Um, and what you see is a combination of you know, specular effects with anisotropic paint, area light shadows, and all of the effects that you uh, would expect to see in reality. You can see a huge island uh, navigating this scene, a manipulate object with uh, instant feedback. Obviously, you want this because of speed, because you can interact faster. So on Pascal, Octane Bench was getting about 400 million rays a second, and on Touring, it's about 3.2 billion. So that's an 8x improvement in speed. We have been able to reach a 50 times increase. And that's going to be huge for visualization, product design. And so to see this uh, become possible in real time, it really shows that graphics technology has increased in performance a million fold uh, since those early days. A million fold in 20 years. Uh, just imagine that.